Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. It is gloomy out there across the Susquehanna Valley. I think the clouds stick around through much of the day today, but not ruling out some peaks of sunshine later this afternoon. Light showers return to the area tomorrow, and then we're talking widespread rain as we head into Thursday. Not ruling out a few isolated thunderstorms as well. So cool but cloudy across the Susquehanna. Taking a live look over Harrisburg right now. Temperatures are currently sitting in the lower 30s. 32 degrees feels like it's 30, and winds are calm. Cloud deck is fairly thick. It's going to take the disturbance that helped generate a few patchy flurries across the air to move off down to the south and east. You can see back towards Sealands Grove and Pottsville. We're starting to see some breaks in the clouds. Yes, we did have some flurries early this morning. Got the reports out of York County, Lancaster County, and Dauphin County. Here's our next rainmaker. Right now, the center of the circulation is moving through western portions of Missouri. That will come into contact with that cool, dry air that's coming down from the north. But the moisture will eventually win out as the low tracks its way up toward the Great Lakes, and our rain chances will go up. So as we head through the afternoon, some gradual clearings, but temperatures not rising much. Right now we're sitting in the lower 30s. We're only going to climb to the upper 30s. Some spots that see a little extra sunshine than others will make it to the lower 40s this afternoon. Clouds will clear out later tonight. Temperatures will once again drop well below seasonal averages. We'll drop into the upper 20s. And then for tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies with the chance for some, mainly I'd say mid-morning into the afternoon, showers and some drizzle. Highs tomorrow still on the cool side in the low to mid 40s. Here are the lows this morning. 32 in Harrisburg, 30 in Lancaster. Look how far we've gone. One degree in Lancaster. Maybe actually have climbed about 33, but then dropped back down to 31. Currently at this hour, it's 33 in York and 34 in Gettysburg. A little bit more sunshine peeking out there towards Pittsburgh. Some little sun will help. I just don't expect that much as we head through the day today. So this upper level disturbance helping get some flurries going this uh, morning. That will continue to trek off to the south and east. And eventually drier air from northern portions of the Commonwealth will drain in to the Susquehanna Valley. But there's that next storm system. Actually could produce some severe weather today from St. Louis and down toward Arkansas. This will work its way off to the north. And our rain chances will start to climb as we head through tomorrow. So here's a look at the predictor. High pressure works its way, eroding that cloud deck as we head into the evening hours and overnight. But then the clouds will start to increase tomorrow morning from southwest to northeast. And then the rain chances go up. Here we are at 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Notice the clouds still fairly thick, and the rain and that warm front off to our south. So as we head into Wednesday night, temperatures will actually be higher than during the day on Wednesday. On Thursday morning, lots of clouds, but then here comes the rain as that disturbance tracks up toward the Great Lakes. Could see some passing showers, and yes, even some thunderstorms possible as we head into Thursday evening. Thursday's highs will be the warmest of the week. So lower 40s, some spots may not escape the upper 30s today. We drop into the 20s for tonight. Showers and drizzle possible for Wednesday, but better rain chances as we head into Thursday with highs in the low 60s. Some spots may make a run at the up mid 60s for Thursday afternoon. Brisk and a few showers possible for Friday. Cooler weather, drier weather for the weekend ahead. All right, still a little below normal, That's though, right? right? All right, thanks, Ethan.